Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome aboard Hourglass Battleship's YouTube page. Let's get started with this week's video. It's gonna be a small video, nothing fancy. I'm gonna do a quick update on what I think would have been a great modernization plan for the Iowas had they been kept in service post Desert Storm. Now I'm not talking about all four of them if you wanna whittle it down to one or two. You know, your call. So let's get started. Let's talk about some upgrades and see what you think. And if you don't like what I said, drop your comments below and make sure you let me know what you think about it. Like and share the YouTube videos. Be sure to click join and follow and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Maybe eventually we get a Patreon going and we can do some more stuff. Maybe do some different trips, maybe some swag. We'll see how it goes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this quick video. First and foremost, let's be honest, the 16 inch guns don't need to go anywhere. New shells, new powders, new systems on the ships for supporting the 16 inch guns, definitely gonna happen. Now, the dual purpose five inch mounts, gone. I would chop them. I would also remove the Mark 37 fire directors, okay? Next, I would gut the missile decks where the armored box launchers are. This is of course my fantasy build so don't hate me for it. Now the dual purpose five inch mounts, their plotting rooms, which there are two, I would gut those. I would remove all the machines, all the old equipment. We would store it, of course, for future use or whatever you want to do with it. All gone. Those rooms would be retasked for new supporting equipment for fire control of whatever systems we decide to put in there. Now, for me, what I would do is I'd put the Auto Malera five inch naval weapon, all right? This can fire the Volcano round. The Volcano round is a programmable ammunition. Good for shooting down incoming vampires, which is missiles. And that's probably the biggest threat to the ships beyond, you know, a torpedo. And accompanying of the five inch mounts being gone, the Mark 37 directors would be chopped, of which there are four. Two forward and two aft, uh, sorry about that, two forward and one on each side of the forward funnel, not aft, that's my bad. And in their place, the forward and the rear Mark 37 directors would get replaced with CRAMs, which is the short range uh, missile system. That would be set up for another form of close in weapons defense. The left and right Mark 37 directors, I would replace those with the Goalkeeper Sea Wiz, which fires a 30 millimeter shell, tungsten shell, which is what you see on the A 10 Warthog. You know, Britain and the Netherlands have used the Goalkeeper for a while. That's something I would definitely put up there to supplement the sea with the phalanxes. I mean, the phalanx would still be there. The sea whiz, I would put two goalkeepers forward, in addition to the two 20 millimeter uh, phalanxes to the rear. I'd have the two phalanxes also, and I would install either by building a mount for them or however we put it in, two more goalkeepers. So we'd have redundancy all around. The goalkeepers would act like the 40 millimeter mounts in World War II. The phalanxes would act like the 20 millimeter Orklands in World War II. Next, the armored box launchers, gone. I would take those out and I would gut the living quarters and spaces below the missile decks. And I would install the VLS system of which I have posted a diagram that was provided to me by uh, another sh a shipmate on the Iowa. So, the VLS system, of course, if Aegis cannot be installed on the Iowas, there is another system that can be. And surely by this point, we can come up with something that is shockproof enough that can withstand the overpressure of the guns. And if not, the Navy's got something they can use. There's always a way around that. Now, the optical system spot one and spot two would stay the same. I would definitely upgrade the radar capabilities on the ship uh, to whatever the most current model is, if we can use it. That's very important. You've got to be able to interlink with the other ships. The Iowas can also be used to control autonomous ships. There's so much space on the ships. There's a lot that can be done, but that's going to be a future video. So VLS to provide long range air defense, long range strike capability, new shells to reach further inland. The 16 inch shells, whether they be the scramjet or the 11 inch nick down Sabo rounds, the Volcano rounds would be supplementing on the Auto Malera uh, shell deck five inch gun mounts, you know, that that's that would be there for them. So we've got three dual five inch guns on each side of the ship. 
the mounts themselves are six guns total on each side so that's three mounts gone now you can do this either way you want to either you drop more VLS cells into one of the mounts or you know by replacing the guns you could put three uh, of the automatic fire and five inch guns now it takes a good bit of people to run the five inch mounts not a ton not as much as the 16 inch batteries do but it's less people they have a set up uh, battery of rounds ready to roll personally I think that's a good option so you've got you know now you've got six five inch mounts instead of the 12 faster firing though able to engage uh, moving targets quicker able to engage shore targets you know it would engage the air missile much more uh, modern and current and the programmable ammunition works really good so if they're defending themselves against small small boat attack that's a great mount to have very great throw in the goalkeeper throw in the sea whiz and you'll notice the redundancy just keeps building and building and building all right guys so for now that's a about the most I would say that I would do to them I'm sure there's a couple things I probably left out but all in all I think that's pretty good uh, I did add like I said I added the Sea Wiz uh, or the Sea Ram I'm sorry to the forward and rear parts of the ship where the Mark 37 directors were the reason why I put those there instead of other you know Gatling guns I just think it's another missile layer system you've got to have layer defense right that C ram and those positions, even though they're still going to get some missile blast, you know, the back blast area, it's going to be a better spot to me than along the side of the ship. It's a little more elevated. Yeah, spot three, or sorry, spot two is probably going to catch some heat, but it's going to be okay. She can take it. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sure there's some more stuff I'll add to this later or to another video. We're going to talk about more uses for the ships uh, that could be done nowadays. And of course, it's just a fantasy build. It's like fantasy football. This is my idea. I'm sure there's some things I'm missing. I definitely, I didn't add this, but you know, in World War II, they had the you know the float planes. I would definitely add more uh, RPVs like they had in the Gulf War, and you could do more uh, interior of the ship, more UAV control stuff. I just think there's so many possibilities for the ships. But again, this was just the armament section of what I would do, what I would add. Um, I think that's pretty pretty much it. If I come up with some more stuff, I'll definitely do a version two, but this is version one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, enjoy the video. Let me know what you think, guys. Have a good day.